hello guys so in this video we are going to start with react native so simply open your browser and search for react native so go for this react native dot dev click get started and here you go so here we have two ways to configure this react native one is using expo second is using react native cli so here i'm going with react native cli if you want me to make a video for expo configuration do let me know in the comment section so we are using windows over here so i will keep it default on windows and android so what we need to do we need to install two things over here one is node another is jdk the one way is you can configure it manually another way is they recommend use chocolatey okay so which is a package manager for windows so i will be following these steps and use chocolatey open this chocolatey go to get started and you need to copy this command from here and make sure you need to open this into powershell so i just search for powershell and try to open it as administrator because it may need some permissions and if asked click yes and just paste your command enter now you need to wait for this make sure your internet is connected so based on the internet speed it may take some time so hold on okay so done so let's close this so this chocolate is doing what it is installing this basically this command gonna install jdk and node.js as well as it gonna set up the path for these things otherwise if you're installing it manually you need to configure the path manually so just go to your command prompt and open it again as administrator if ask hit yes and just paste this command again make sure it is connected with the internet so that all the packages can be installed and here you go so once it is done meanwhile it is installing we can take a look on another things so once this is done we need android studio as well so if you want to install android studio simply go for this link and follow these steps if you want to create a separate video for this how to install android studio let me know in comments and then we need to do what we need to install the sdk that would be installed by default when you are installing that android studio and then next we need to do for this settings so we need to do this configuration so what you need to do here is just look for the android sdk path that is generally in your my computer whatever window drive it is it is c and just go for this users and your default user that is rio in my case and here you need to go for this app data so it would not be visible here just go for backslash app data go for this local you can just uh, take the help of this link and then android and then sdk and just copy this link so simply go for this pc properties and just go for this advanced system environment variable you can close this and create a new environment variable here just paste this path and the name should be android underscore home so i just paste this and hit okay okay and what else we need to do we need to do set up the path of platform tools as well okay so where we need to do we need to set it under path variable okay so let's go ahead and look for this folder copy this path go to this environment variable again go for this path we just go for this path instead of a particular user and new paste okay 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 so i think all the settings are done now you can create your first react app and here i will create one new project just open command prompt for the same path and just run this command just copy this command go for this go for this 
paste it here and you can change the name of the project let's go for first app enter and make sure your device is connected with the internet so that it can download all the required templates and other things so let's open this react native folder here and you can see the new folder is created and let's wait for downloading all this stuff okay and meanwhile you can start your emulator my emulator is up and working so that we can test the first app let's wait for its completion okay so all done what we need to do you need to run these two commands the first one is you need to navigate to this first app folder and then we need to run this command before running this command make sure your emulator is up and working let's paste this command and press enter now you need to wait and open your emulator side by side and just switch here so make sure your internet is connected okay so after waiting 2 minutes 17 seconds the app is installed and started let's wait for this emulator so this is your first app so that's all for this video. Thank you.